Well, it is Monday, and Marathon Mondays are starting. Spring is approaching, and so is the Eugene Marathon Weekend. On April 27th and 28th, runners will take to the streets of Eugene and Springfield to run this year's races. But there is a big change this year, and here's a look at what to expect. For the last nine years, all races during the Eugene Marathon Weekend have ended with a final run around the Bowerman Curve before crossing the finish line at Hayward Field. But with old Hayward Field a distant memory as crews work to build a new state-of-the-art track set to open in 2020, the Eugene Marathon has moved down the road and across the river to finish this year's races. Autzen Stadium, a place where fans cheer on the University of Oregon football team, now a place where fans will cheer on thousands of runners. Runners will end their long runs right here on the field, finishing on the 50. A change to the end also means a change to the course. There are some, some distinct differences between the, the new course this year and the previous course, but it'll feel very familiar to runners as soon as they get through the first few miles that go downtown across Ferry Street Bridge. This year, runners will start on the Leo Harris Parkway in front of Autzen Stadium. Then they'll travel to the Ferry Street Bridge where they'll cross the Willamette River. Runners then travel through downtown Eugene, before heading to the U of O campus. The good news for marathoners is that they get, they get a couple more miles with the half marathoners this year. In the past, they've split at about 10 miles. This year, they split at about 12 miles. Uh, so I think the marathoners are, will enjoy having company for a couple more miles. Eventually, runners will make their way along the bike paths and through Alton Baker Park before ending right here on the 50-yard line in Autzen Stadium. I think especially with the change this year going through downtown, which we haven't done in the past, kind of brings just the specialness of Eugene and, and Tracktown USA uh, to life. And to celebrate the specialness of this area, the community is invited to attend this year's Finnish Festival, which also has a new location, Autzen Stadium. We'll have, you know, food, drinks, vendors, a uh, bunch of stuff going on up there. Um, and that's open to the public, so anybody can come to that. It's a fun place. You can see runners approaching the stadium. You can see runners finishing inside the stadium here. Uh, and it should be a pretty fun atmosphere for everybody. And although there may be snow on the ground, they say it never rains at Autzen. So let's hope that holds true for race weekend in April. And not changing this year, shuttles will still pick up at the same locations, but there will also be parking at Autzen Stadium. And this year's Health and Wellness Expo will still be at the Lane Event Center. Hopefully, yes, we'll have some sunshine for race weekend. It's definitely still too early to tell. But I am tracking more sunshine towards the end of the week. But before we even get to that, we do have rain on the way. I'll have a closer look next.